Hi, I'm Patrick van der Meer, Visual Coach, and uh, this is uh, a website based on Blazor. It's a server-side Blazor, and the only thing uh, compared to the um, template that you get with .NET 5 uh, and the latest uh, 2019 uh, Visual Studio uh, is that I moved the data folder, which is actually over here, I moved it to a separate library, uh, so over here. Just drag and drop. You can change the namespace, but of course you need to do a little bit more tinkering. And of course, you need a dependency or actually a reference to that library, and then everything simply works out of the box. Now I was uh, going to uh, extend my um, identity user, and to do that, uh, I have created uh, in a models folder that I uh, added an application user. In this case, it only has a first name, a last name, and a team. But of course, you can put in anything you like. So having this added, you're not done. Because you have to actually say to the database context that it now has to reckon with an application user so actually uh, when you open this uh, file you will see that it is just like this but of course we need this edit and then that is the first step second step is that you might want to copy this in or type this in uh, especially when you are going to uh, do more extensions later and maybe need some more uh, uh, how to call it setup or how the different classes and uh, relate to each other. Okay, so that is that. Then um, you have to go actually to an area here and it has the account and login partial, the CS HTML partial, and that also has an identity user noted over here so i changed that i made it an application user same over here and of course i had a reference needed to need so that's also added over there right done with this page then i stumbled over something strange uh, let me show you the page i got all this information so this is uh, microsoft docs and it says it's for asp.notcore.not5 and it says over here, well, you have to now, uh, let me see over here, you now have to update something in the area's identity. And I couldn't find it. It was simply not there. And then it says, okay, after search or startup convocation services and replace identity user with application user. So <laughs> that's actually only this word again. And I'll show you where that is. So after searching my ass off because it was not in these in this area it is simply in the startup and in the startup we have a service and at this service there's the identity user and replace it with the application user and you're almost home right not too hard is it oh not too much work maybe to figure it out all right, so then, of course, you need to tell the database that it now has an application user and that it has to change some columns in a table. So that means that you actually add a migration because we're working with migration uh, uh, model uh, uh, first uh, entity frameworks. So this is the command in the package manager console and if you don't know the package manager console it is in the other windows and then in the package manager console and you can have it in your screen so type in add migration application user actually the name there application user is something that i came up it's easy to remember that this migration was about the application user but you can take any name of course uh, then when you press enter it will build and it will hopefully succeed if you don't make too many mistakes typos wrong usually and you can undo it by typing actually remove migration. So if you add behind the PM uh, the remove migration, then it will take the last migration and will reverse it. I didn't do that because everything was fine with me. So how does a 
migration look? Well, in the migrations folder, in the data folder, migration folder, there we had, of course, the original uh, uh, scheme for the database, and it added now my application user uh, migration. And there it just simply says, okay, add a column, add another column, and add another column. And if you don't like it, go down uh, and uh, uh, remove all of that again. Drop, uh, drop those columns. Nothing special in here and it automatically get generated, so nothing to worry about. So then you hit another keyboard entry up here and it says update database, press enter. Again, it will build and start, and now it actually changes the database. So when you upload this to the, your Azure account, uh, to your website, then that is hopefully by a form of a checkbox in the, in the publish, uh, uh, behind the publish button and the settings there, uh, it will simply do the migration. On this machine, I just force it by typing this command, update database. Right. So when you have done that, you can check actually if it run. I already did it, so I can just go to the database in the local DB. I'm searching for the, the, the database that I just made. And I, if you don't know the name of your database, so in this case, is this the name of my database? Just have a quick look in your uh, application settings because there's the link of, actually, this is the link. This is the name of the database. Right, so. You can find that. So then, let's have a look on what changed uh, over here. We just go to view data, and all the columns are the same, but in the end, all the way over here, it added first name, last name, and team, as I expected, as I wished. That is about all. So now there's only one thing more to do. I hope you use something like a, a Git repository or a Team Foundation. You need to save, save all of the changes. Um, or maybe before you do that, you like to first start the application once locally to see if there's not too much problems. So I'm, I'm doing that now. Let's see. Oh, this string. Let's drag it over here. So um there's it's loaded login uh, can i still log in will it still work uh, let me see Oops. yes it still works i can still get in now what you don't have automatically is that now your profile says it has a first name a last name and whatever uh, that's something that you have to change somehow uh, later um, that's not included in this video. I'll, I have to figure it out and maybe I'll make a video, but for now, that is it. So let's go to your Team Explorer, Explorer and check in everything you did. Last change, uh, video change. Check in. Done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it or even better, ask a question um, and who knows, I know the answer out of my uh, head.